<sighs> now that I've had a piss, let's start with the next season, shall we? 1999. A year in which nothing happened. Just joking. It's a year in which TV shows start to become less and less funny. And Formula One, hopefully more exciting. Will we get the same treatment we did back in 1998? Well, the only way we can find out is if I shut the fuck up and start reviewing the goddamn season! <laughs> As usual, the season sets off in Australia, halfway across the world from anywhere. Just like last year, it's Mika Hakkinen in pole position and David Coulthard in second. Let's hope that this year's Grand Prix will have just as much action as last year's did. So here we are, for the first time in 1999, and the starters are aborted. Both the Stewarts have engine problems on the grid, causing a restart. And as the second formation lap starts, Michael Schumacher and David Coulthard both have problems, and they both have to start at the bottom of the grid. And Rubens Barrichello is not happy. It's funny. Barrichello has been in Formula 1 for about 6 years and he's not had a chance of showing his potential. Let's hope it doesn't go to waste. Also, that guy has some super cool trousers. So here we are again for the start of the 1999 Australian Grand Prix! Hakkinen and Coulthard have incredible starts and Schumacher has a lot of making up to do. Schumacher does not want a repeat of Suzuka last year. As the field go halfway through the first lap, Damon Hill in the Jordan spins out. The 1996 world champion has not had many good days. Ever since he won the world championship, he's never been the same. There's a big accident on the 13th lap. Jacques Villeneuve crashes a slightly less shitty looking Williams. What a shame. Williams have not been looking their best recently. I hope they can turn their act around somehow. Meanwhile, Coulthard goes out! I can't tell you why, because I'm too fucking lazy to even research more than the race that I've already done. So yeah, no, fun no funny jokes. Sorry. Three laps later, the race is green flag, but Mika Hakkinen cannot get started! And consequently lets the rest of the field go straight past him, and he also lets Eddie Irvine take first place! Holy shit, this is incredible! I never thought an Irish person, let alone Eddie Irvine, could take first place away from the defending world champion. It seems like there's something wrong. Hakkinen does not seem to be going any faster. Could it be an engine problem? What is this? It's taking really long for him to make a pit stop. It's probably like the fastest pit stop they've done in like 11 years. There's another crash! Alex Zanardi crashes while trying to avoid a crash. No, I'm not kidding when I say that. He tries his best to stop himself from hitting the wall, and then he ends up hitting the other wall on the other side of the track. How unlucky are is, how unlucky do you have to be? From here on, it was plain sailing for Eddie Irvine, who takes his first ever win in Formula One and takes the early lead in the World Championship. Oh man, this is going to be an exciting season. Is that an illusion, 